Nathan, do you think you overdid it with our hair? Uh-uh. Nope. I sure don't. Because we're going to Beverly Hills. Now, if I'm going to do good at that audition, we got to look like stars. Y'all, this hair, like, let's just get into this video. When you act like that, you ain't even bad when you just act Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Eugenia Kelsey. As you can tell by the title, this is going to be a review on this hair that I bought, bought with my own money on Amazon. Um, the video is going to be in four parts. Um, the first part is going to be the unboxing of the hair, and the second part is like the curls and how I maintain this hair. The third part is going to be the shit in a mat. I'm going to tell you about this hair does a shit, does a mat. Um, and the fourth part would be me putting this hair to the heat test. I will be straightening, be straightening part, part of it to see and to see if it like reverts back into like its curly form. Um, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you like my content. So you guys, this is the box that the hair came in. It has Jessica hair written over it. Um, it took five days to get here. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the contents of this box. This is the hair when it's straight out of the package. As you can tell, the hairline is pre-plugged, but I still went in and plugged it a little bit. This is the hair after I customized it. Um, it took bleach really well. I also dyed it to match my skin tone. I went ahead and attached um, an elastic band to the wig because the cap was a little bit too big for my head. The wig has four combs. It has three by where the lace front is at. And there's also um, one in the back with a lace in case you want to put it up. But I cut it off because it was, it was um, getting matted a lot. So I cut the lace in the back off. It also had a gift, a Huda Beauty eyelash called Giselle. And here is um, a stocking cap. Uh, like a fishnet stocking cap that they added. I didn't really use it. I got a dark brown stocking cap that matches my skin tone and which is what I would recommend you guys do. Get a stocking cap that matches your skin tone so people wouldn't be able to tell that you're wearing a wig. So the curls. The curls for this hair is really pretty. Like the curls are really pretty but when they came in the box it kind, of, it kind of looked a little bit crazy. So what I did was I, I put conditioner and, and water in a spray bottle and um, I just wash, I conditioned the hair. And I do this every two to three days to make sure like the hair still looks like it has its shine and like luster and it still looks nice. I use um, this conditioner that I bought from, I got it from Target for like $2. So this is what I use and I have my spray bottle right here so i just put this into that and add a little bit of water and i just spray it onto my hair like every two to three days and it really makes the curl pop and like it's really pretty so shedding this hair does shed i mean like come on it's curly hair it's going to shed but it doesn't shed like crazy like dog hair shit like I could run my hands like through it and okay, I didn't get any strands net to right now but usually like I get okay uh, oh that I have like I got like two strands like it doesn't shed like it sheds but not like crazy and it doesn't lose its density this is my second time purchasing this wig I gave the first one to my mom and it still has its density, even though it shed. It's the one I got there, one fifty um, eighteen inch, and it's still going. It's still going to maintain its density, and it's still going to have its like volume and everything. Like it does shed. Matting. There's like this lace in the back that's supposed to help you pull your hair up in case you want to put pull it up. Um, I suggest cutting the lace off because. It tends to like matte with the lace. I don't I, I don't know how to explain it, but it tends to like get matted in the back, like just a little bit, like right by where the lace is. And usually I just brush it, like brush it off, like with like a few brush strokes, it should fix it. Um you don't want to keep doing that, so I just cut off the lace and that was all like it, it helped with the matting. It didn't matte in the back anymore. 
this is how the hair looks dry. Um, I usually go with the dry hair, like, because I have a really small head, so I like to bake, like, huge hair, like, all over the place. So, like, sometimes even when it dries, I just go in and, like, try to, like, make it bigger. But I'm going to, um, I'm going to wet it for you guys to see how it looks wet. I'm going to wet this part, and I'm going to straighten this part, and then wet it also to see if it comes back, like, to being curly. So, let's just, I'm going to get my spray bottle right here and I have my brush so yeah you can finger detangle it but I'm gonna use a brush just for the purpose of this video so I'm gonna go in and then brush it out the curls are so pretty you guys like they're so pretty I'm not even gonna lie. It does tangle up a little bit, but I usually have finger to tangle first and then go in the brush with the brush. Yeah, yeah. The curls are so pretty. I'm gonna straighten this tiny little bit part because I don't know if it's gonna go back and I don't wanna risk it. it like, it took a lot of begging for my mom to buy me this hair, so I'm not about to like damage it for y'all. So, um, I'm gonna do this part for the how you know it's real when it's like when it's burning because like actual like human hair burns my straightener isn't that long So um, I straightened this part of the hair, so I'm going to go ahead and wet it to see if it reverts back to being, like, back to its curls. The hair actually looks dark brown. I always thought it was black, but it's dark brown here. So... Oh, it is going back. Yeah, I can see it. It did go back to being curly. So yeah, what $29. I mean, it's expensive, but not really, because it really, like, it definitely, like, adds up. It, it does add up. So for all y'all college students, I'm a college student too, so I definitely recommend getting this hair. Overall, I would rate this hair a 9 out of 10. The reason being that it's really cheap. I got it for $129 in 18 inch, which I think it's really cheap. And the one that I had, I lost it for a long time. So I'm pretty sure this one's gonna last for a long time too. I don't sleep in this hair. I always take it off before bed. Sometimes I forget, but I never sleep in this hair. Um, what I don't like about it is the ants. The ants are a bit stringy and I would cut it off, but I'm afraid of messing with it. So yeah, it's the cap is also big. Now I remember I said I have a really small head, so it might be my head or like you guys let me know if you guys decide to buy it and it's like if it's your head or if it's small. 
but right now I'm just going to leave it at a 9 out of 10 because the cap is big and the ants, the ants need some work. They need some work done. And that's ant. See y'all in my next video. Come back. Come back. You know you want to come back. You know. You know you want to come back.